Kyle, congratulations. A massive three points away from home here at Fairham this afternoon. You talked about translating that excellent home form into away from home and you've managed to do it this afternoon. Yeah, look, I think the lads were superb from the get-go. Um, we just talked about it. If you're going to win away from home, you've got to show a bit of grit, a bit of determination. You're going to have to have a really good shape about you. And today, that was in an abundance. We could have probably, should have scored more goals. Um, and that's something we'll work on in training. But to get three points and our first three points away from home, I'm delighted. Um, and again, it just shows the progress that we're making. It really was an excellent performance from minute one. And I think you've just said to me there before we before we sort of went live with yeah. this, that any three points away from home at any level is not to be sniffed at. And that was a, a you know a case of that today as well. Yeah, look, you know, some of those lads in there have played in leagues above and, and, and lower leagues. It doesn't matter where you go and where you play. If you're going to win away from home, it's very difficult and you've got to have a level of determination. You've got to have a shape about you and understanding. And today, look, we weren't the best on the ball where we have been more free-flowing at home, but we still should have scored more goals. But defensively, and our shape was superb. They couldn't break us down. Scored a worldie at the end, and what a finish that was for them. And we still rode it out, and it's, um, it's just a great three points. And it's, again, an, another 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 added di di dimension to our development is that coming away from home and being secure and being rigid within that, that structure. It's just huge, and, and the lads are buzzing, and so they should be. Absolutely. Um I know you don't like to single individuals out, but I just wanted to talk about a defensive point of view today. It's apart from that worldy strike that they hit, we didn't really look like conceding, and that was a lot to do with the organisation and determination at the back there, wasn't it? Yeah, look, we, we, we discussed how we're going to play, and, and we've got the fundamentals and, and the disciplines of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it, and we're, we're showing teams we know the basics outside of us. However, you know, the two experienced lads at the back there, you know, they're winning every headers, they're winning second headers, they're coming out and blocking things, and like you said, I don't want to... I don't want to pinpoint anyone because from, from the front, right at the beginning, from through Greg and, and Bailey, they worked their absolute socks off all the way back. We have deserved that victory. We walk away here with our heads held high, three points, and we go in again Tuesday night. Definitely. Another goal for Greg and another goal for Bryn. Uh, two two excellent goals as well, and you must be delighted for them too as well because they continue their rich vein of form. Yeah, look, and, and two great lads. You know, what we want to develop here at the football club, and you know, Josh, how passionate I am, is it's about morals and it's about... <laughs> It's about the person and the individual themselves. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you haven't got that desire to, to really be a good player, um, then, then we don't want you at Portland. You know, Greg, <laughs> I spoke to him before, and if I'd have met Greg at 20 years old and I was a coach, that, that guy has just got so much potential and, and he does really well for me. And Bryn, smashing lad, and, and what a goal to, 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 to eventually win it for us. But, you know, he just said to himself, I didn't have the greatest of game, but out of, out of possession, he really does, does put a shift in. So, well done to all the lads, buzz him. Yeah, uh, rightfully, fun, fun, fun own. <laughs> rightfully so as well. And, uh, you know, just to reiterate, coming away from Ferrum are a good side. They're in a cup semi-final yeah. on, on Tuesday. Uh, you just mentioned it briefly, but that, does that reaffirm the job you're trying to do here? And, and it's, it's obviously pushed us towards our target as well uh, with this big three points. And, and a result like this does reaffirm that, that development and that progress that is definitely being made. Yeah, no, no, it definitely does. It definitely does reaffirm. And there, there are long nights that, that Jamie and I have when we talk to each other and we're, are we sure, are we not sure? And, and days like today makes, makes it worthwhile and it's definitely sure. Um, however, we're, we're not the finished article. We're nowhere near that. Um, you know, it's a big kind of eight games, seven games for the lads because they're fighting for their spots at Portland. They've got a lot of lads that want to come up now. They're hearing about the environment they're creating and, and the lads want to play for us. And, and long may that be because, you know, I, I'm really excited for what, what will be now and what will be in the future. And we can enjoy tonight, but we've obviously got a game on Tuesday yeah. night at home to Brockness, which is another big game yeah, yeah. and another big test. Yeah, they're all big games. And, and funny enough, I said to the lads there, I want to go on a run. I don't want it to be just two wins at home and then come here away from home and nick a draw or, or lose. I want to go on a run and look, we can we can go there Tuesday night and hopefully put in another performance and hopefully keep that momentum and keep that run going. Uh, just a word, finally, full coach today, full of supporters and they're going to be going home very happy. Look, they're class at the end, aren't they? Look, you know, it's a, it's, it's a big crowd for us today and, and I have to say the setup here is absolutely fantastic. Class set of management team they have. But you can hear our fans at the end clapping us off and the lads, the lads deserve that praise and just a static again for the whole, whole club and for all the people that put their effort in and today's the day where you kind of see all that kind of come together and all the lads and the, the fans come together and it's great it's great. And it, and it really sounds like the lads are enjoying it in the change room now so I'll let you crack on Cheers, Josh. Thank thanks you. Kyle Cheers,